We've got three new croc monitors here in the camp. Let's go ahead and I'll show you this female guy. Look at her, look at her. And now for the male guys, this is the big one. Is he beautiful or what? Look at this guy. This is a sketchy time on account that I'm in here with two very nervous reptiles. What do you guys think of these croc monitors? They're gonna be living here at the camp. Oh my God, look at these people. How cool are these animals? Oh, this is good. He's allowing her to walk on her. Oh boy. Hey, what's going on everyone? Big day here. We are gonna be moving Pinky. She's gonna move out and she's gonna go hang out with Jerry at his place where she's gonna have a male that's just the right size for her. And we are gonna be bringing in to this enclosure the croc monitors we got from Alejandro uh, that were in need of a home um, because of Hurricane Ian. So we're gonna be setting up those animals. It's gonna be literally grab her, put her in here, and then we're gonna get the other bins out of my truck, which is right there. And we're gonna introduce a male and female croc monitor uh, to this enclosure. So this is what we're on about today. Let's see what kind of mood the pinks is in. Here she is. Oh yeah, she's a little, she's gonna have her, uh, are you gonna bite me today? Cause I don't like when I get bit by you, Pink. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Rainy Parker. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Are you a biter today? Please don't bite me, my love. Don't bite me. I have not handled this lizard in a very, very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just see what we got here. This is not food, Angel. I'm not food. Uh, she's not, she's definitely not slinky. Definitely not my slinky boy. So there's a little less trust between us, which is what it is, you know? But we're gonna get her safely out of here. Uh, and into a new home with Jerry. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And I heard a strange beeping noise. I have no idea what that is. Odd. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna use both hands and we're gonna. Hey, hey, hey. Easy does it, love. Whoa, whoa, she. No. Oh, no. Are you guys okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys are still okay. You fell in the water and this GoPro has its door open. It's not waterproof, I hope. It looks like we're still recording. I don't know what the sound is like. Oh my gosh, she went after the GoPro. Good grief, I gotta stop messing about. Let's stop mucking about here and just get this lizard handled. I think we're looking good still, people. All right, let's see. All right, little pinky poo. We're going to get you now, love bug. Easy does it. Easy does it. That's a good girl. That's my good girl. That's what I like to see. I like it like that. Come on. We're going to slide up underneath her like this. She's not fighting me at the moment. Here we go. See, we got her. No drama. Right down. Ugh. Okay, so we got pinks. She's okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna seal this up properly and we're gonna go ahead and get. Ooh, we're gonna get her dialed. We're gonna get some zip ties on this container and just make sure she's secure. Now, to be honest with you, really more concerned about being bit by the croc monitors. So you'll see how I release them. It's gonna be very, simple uh we are not gonna put hands on them we're actually just gonna go ahead and uh we're just gonna go ahead and open these bins and allow them to come on out we got dogs going off we got other things beeping it's a heck of a morning folks all kinds of things happening here this morning but i'm really excited because we've got these amazing animals to set up Okay, we also need to get some snips so that we can undo the zip ties. But while I do that, let's have a look at this. What's going on with this beeping? These were some um, little alarms that I put in after we had that theft. Now we have a 
more advanced alarm system here. This little cheapy battery thing is a, uh, yeah, this thing's gotta go. Yeah, that's it right there. Like I said, we have a professional alarm system that was put in to make sure the animals are secure. So, okay, let's get some snips and I'll be right back. Okay, let's uh, start opening this and get these guys all deal with, dealt with, rather. My English, I hate my English goes bad. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> this is gonna be the male and he's a big boy. And the female that we're gonna introduce to him is in this box. And there's always, been, there's always gonna be a size discrepancy between the males and females. Um, they've not lived with each other ever but we're gonna try it here and i have to keep an eye on them but we're gonna try it here because this is a neutral place it's brand new for them they'll both be able to fit in that hide box there's plenty of room uh for both of them there's hiding areas so i feel i'm, I'm hopeful that um they'll be okay let's go ahead and i'll show you this female guys look at her look at her is that a beautiful animal? Look at her. Oh man, she's gone. She's gone already. Okay, so we got her out. Let's go ahead and get this bin. I believe this belongs to Jim Heck. We don't want to lose this bin. Alejandro said, keep it safe, which I will. So we're gonna go ahead and just place it outside the enclosure. Okay, go ahead and shut that door. And now for the mail, guys, this is a big one. This is a big boy. There he is. Yeah, not the largest, but he's pretty big. Is he beautiful or what? Look at that croc monitor, everyone. So this is going to be their new home. Let's go ahead and get this bin out. And we could just relax and keep an eye on him and just see what his temperament is. I got some food that have defrosted. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is, this is a sketchy time on account that I'm in here with two very nervous reptiles. Uh, that can do serious damage. So we're just going to relax. That door shut. Keep an eye on them. Of course, they're looking for a way out. That's what they're going to do at first. And then they'll settle in. And, oh yeah, I know. He's angry. Here's the male. Let's turn this so you guys can see him over there. But look at this gal right here. My gosh. Beautiful animal. What colors on her, huh? What beautiful colors. And look at the size of this guy. What do you guys think of these croc monitors? They're gonna be living here at the camp. They're moving in. They are permanent residents of the camp. And we also have one more that Alejandro says is extremely calm and tame, but she's blind in one eye like Lagata. So just give him some room. Oh, I know you're upset, mate. These are beautiful lizards from, originally these animals come from New Guinea and Indonesia, but they call them the tree crocodile. And if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I had a lizard female, Lagatha. It's a bit smaller than this one. I don't have names for these guys, so I'm open to suggestions. Um, I do not have names for them, but they are gorgeous. And to have two in this large enclosure, uh, I think it's, it's a good sign, man. So let's see, so far, I want them to see each other to kind of go near each other and just see what happens. But look at him hissing. Alejandro raised this guy up from a very young sub-adult. But look at the size of that tail. I mean, he's he's gotta be over six foot long. They just have that long tail and that's what makes them such a long lizard. They're not the heaviest bodied lizard, they're the longest lizard. Um, these have been found up to 14 feet in length. Of course, the largest and heaviest bodied lizard is the Komodo dragon, which we saw at St. Augustine. Uh, so we'll be revisiting them as well. I'm fascinated by monitor lizards. Um, this enclosure is, of course, very, very secure. And it held one female croc monitor. And now it's holding a pair of croc monitors. So we're just going to... Wow, this is so cool. And you see, they, they've been in this uh, container for about... 13 hours because I couldn't I got home uh, from picking them up later in the evening and it would not be a good idea to do this at night I wanted to do it first thing 
there's Slinky over there kind of keeping an eye on what's going on. Let's go ahead and shut this again. My God, look at this, people. How cool are these animals? You're all right, buddy. You're all right. I got. I want. I would like to get some new. Here we go. Let's just keep an eye out. Let's keep an eye out. Let's keep an eye out. Be nice to each other. I don't want to have to break up a reptile fight. Oh, he smokes. That was. That's nerve wracking. But again, neutral area. Let's hope this is okay. A lot of tongue flicking. He's curious about her. She's curious about him. She's, oh, this is good. He's allowing her to walk on her. Oh boy. Let's just see. So far, so good, friends. So far, so good. I think I'm gonna need better um, branches, to be honest. These branches may be rotting out. I'm gonna have to set some things up in here. So that's all good to know. I just don't like the way they're wobbling at the moment. But that was a good first interaction, I'd say. Okay. Oh boy, that branch. Things just do not last here in Florida with the weather as it is and the high humidity. So I'm gonna have to do some work in here. We'll have to save that for another video though. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little mushy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good. I think it's termites to be honest. I'll probably put some logs in here that are able to withstand the weather. But we got some time at the moment. And to be honest, I think I just spied something here in the water from Pinky. That's an egg. That's an egg from Pinky. So she uh, didn't actually breed, but she does drop eggs. So we'll just get rid of that. I don't want them to sniff it or eat it. But look at this. Yes, I know you're upset. You had a rough day. You really did. You had a rough day. She's going to go hide back in there. I don't want to corner you. I'm just looking at you, buddy. I'm just looking at you, buddy. I know. You guys are okay. You guys are okay. This is your new home. Holy smokes. These guys are beautiful. Be good to each other. Please be good to each other. Wow. I'll let them settle in. We still have whoa, another female. Easy does it, easy does it, guys. All right, let me back up because I don't want to make him more nervous. I want him to be good to her. Good boy. I know you're nervous. All right, I'll tell you what, let's let these animals settle in. I'm gonna pick up some of these zip ties here that I dropped on the floor. But yeah, let's just go ahead and let him settle in so that they can calm down. I think that's really cool. I know, you're upset. I know, you're tough. All right. Cool, huh? Okay. Pretty exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and get that lone female set up in her temporary enclosure because my custom cage, everything's okay. Everything's okay. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to leave this camera here just to document anything that might be happening with these lizards. So let's go ahead and put it back up. I think that would be a smart thing to do. This way I can keep an eye on these guys. I mean, that can't hurt, right? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna head on out. We're gonna drive on over to the next area. I've gotta pull out the Argus monitor and uh, shift a few things around because what's happening is the female, the, the other female croc monitor, is going to temporarily be housed where one of the Argus monitors is and um, that's because we're not quite done with this enclosure. I need a little bit more time with the custom cages enclosure. Um, that's where she's going to go eventually. So I am just want to finish this thing up, decorate it properly, uh, dial it in a little bit more and make sure that the animal's okay or the cage is completely ready before I introduce the animal into it. So. Just give me a little bit of time on that, and I'll be right back, because uh, we gotta go get the other female. Okay, this girl's a little lively at the moment. Let's see what we got. Let's see her. Oh, she's facing me. Let's just point her that way. Good girl, there she goes, there she goes. All right, so there she is. Let's get this bin out of here. See what she'll do, if she'll calm down for us. 
it's a little bit of a tight quarter but it's still large enough that she's gonna have room to move and i only suspect this will be a couple of weeks while i work on the other one there's her blind eye she's almost the exact same size as lagatha maybe a smidge smaller um, but here she is and according to alejandro she's a calmer animal but again she's just been you know transported went through a hurricane and uh she's the last few days have been pretty intense for her so we're gonna let her settle in and then of course i'm gonna try and feed these animals here later on just to make sure everything's okay um, but my gosh you're beautiful my gosh so i'm just glad that i have the enclosures that i can just do a little shuffling of some of the animals uh and we are going to work this fall and winter to get everyone in larger and more dialed uh enclosures um so very important and then man that is so cool here she is right here let's see her hi girl i don't know your name i don't know your name man she's beautiful she's got some shady area we've got a hide down here she can dig a little bit if she wants but um this will be you know plenty strong enough to support her and hang out here and i think this is a pretty good temporary enclosure uh for one croc monitor and i wanted to keep her uh away from the male because i figure she's blind um she might get real nervous if a big lizard's coming up on her left side so we'll just keep an eye on her uh and you know see what's going on you know so very very cool stuff and these guys definitely could do with a feed it's been a little while because of the storm so look at her she's curious hi sweetie i'm gonna be your new buddy we're gonna be hanging out a lot I know, I know, you're upset. Very, very cool stuff, guys. So this is awesome, man. The animals are uh, secured. We can let them relax a little bit. We've got three new croc monitors here at the camp. What an honor uh, to have this species. They're beautiful. Uh, that being said, they're dangerous. They have the largest teeth of any lizard on earth even the komodo dragon they can inflict a serious injury these are not animals uh that i think would be for everyone uh they grow large and they need space and that's what we're gonna dial them in with so you know how i like to do things here at the camp i really like to keep these animals uh in a spacious environment um, again, this is temporary, but I think it's large enough that she'll feel secure um, and we'll get her feeling comfortable. And then, of course, we'll introduce her into that new enclosure from Custom Cages. Uh, if you want to check out Custom Cages enclosures, go to customcages.com. Beautiful, beautiful enclosures, all kinds of different configurations you can do. Uh, really fantastic stuff. So I cannot wait until it is 100% ready for our new buddies here at the camp. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out and watching today. I'm gonna let them settle in. Maybe we'll do a feeding video here in a little bit. Uh, so keep an eye on this channel for all the developments of these new beautiful members of the Camp Kennan family. I hope you guys are good wherever you're at. Remember, if you can help someone out from Hurricane Ian, who's gone through uh, some really bad times, please do it. There are plenty of different uh, donation organizations, the Red Cross, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, one, and uh, there's a lot of relief efforts underway. This is just a small thing that we're doing here. Uh, so please check it out, help out your fellow man, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Take care.